North Dakota Legion Baseball has three classes, AA, single A, and Class B. The AA State Championship is in Dickinson next week. That's where the Minot Vistas will play for a trophy. Tonight, the Vistas are in Bismarck. Governor has opened the scoring in the bottom of the first. Carter Kruger chops this ball to shortstop, brings in Tommy Kraljic from third. Minot answered right back in the top of the second inning. Tyler Collins at the plate. He drives this ball into the opposite field, makes it a 1-1 ball game. Vistas would add another run in the next inning. Kellen Burke hits a grounder towards Shirt. Kraljic retires the runner at third, allows Adam Rodeker to score. Score become 4-1 in the top of the fifth. Thanks to a deep ball from Kellen Burke, reaches the center field wall, makes three RBIs on the day for Kellen. That score held, and the Vistas took game one. Plus a shutout performance from Carson Deaver on the mound makes the sweep. Vistas have won five in a row. Class B districts are in Burlington. Bulldogs versus Renville in the semis. Renville outfielder Kellen Henry hit a leadoff double. That set up Joe Savicole, home run hitter of yesterday, to put one into the grass. Kellen comes around third, puts the Scrats up 1-0 in the first inning. Paxton Eastas pitching for Burlington today. This line drive hit to Connor Coons at second. Tags the base, slides into it, and it's a solo double play from Connor to end the inning. Renville up by one. Bottom of the first, Drew Rodeker lays down a bunt to third. The throw misses first base. That's enough time for Eastas to score, and Burlington took a 6-1 lead by the end of the inning. Eastas also dominated on the mound. He had seven strikeouts. And the Bulldogs are going to the championship game. They'll play a rematch against Renville County. Scratch defeated Surrey in an elimination game today. Burlington hasn't lost yet, so Renville would need to win twice. Same goes for rugby against Kandu. The Bearcats only need one win to lock up the district, while rugby would need to win both games. Looking forward to finding out our state qualifiers sometime tomorrow. Entering tonight, the Hot Tots have only beat St. Cloud once this season in five games. A win from the Rocks tonight would secure the season series. Tonight is the last game the two will play until the final week of the season. Bottom of the first, Nick Pepe took a walk to first base. A few batters later, this is chopped to second, tossed to short, over to first for a complete double play. We had a couple of those tonight. Paxton Miller from Bismarck pitching for Minot. Top second, Rocks put runners on first and second. Grounder to short, you guessed it. Another double play keeps it scoreless going into the bottom of the second inning. Carson Evans from Louisiana Tech University ums up to bat for the Tots. Base hit into right field is enough to score Brandon Mondragon for a 1-0 lead. Next batter to come up, Thomas Rollauer. This pitch bounces off the catcher and into your living room. Day Hale takes off for home, beats the tag. Tots take the win and host the Larks for Harry Potter.